what's going on guys just at the bank right now getting some cash to go get some ribs best ribs on the island this <laughs> fucking tiny ass little car you look like dicks in here <laughs> uh, got the ribs this is like uh, gotta be at least 10 pounds of food right here uh, it's an annoying terrible noise um, yeah, a lot of food, super excited for this. I'll be back in a bit. I had to pull out the camera for this. Look at these ribs. There's a can of Coke next to it for... Quite the, quite the stack of meat. Right, what's going on guys just wanted to make this quick before I get into the video I didn't edit last night I just got tired and ended up going to sleep I feel like I'm getting a little sick I definitely feel it in my throat so I've uh, just been pretty exhausted anyway I'm about to edit right now uh, this was yesterday's dive and today's dive we did uh, two dives each day so there's like four four dives in total but over the course of two days I'm gonna try to just take only the highlights of clips since there's gonna be uh, definitely more footage since I had two days of footage. So enjoy the video and I'll be back in a bit.
All right, what's going on guys? Hopefully you enjoyed that footage. It has been two amazing days of scuba diving. Uh, definitely some very memorable things happened that I wanted to just talk about right now. Uh, the first thing that really blew me away was this green moray eel that we saw. Um, I was floating pretty high above it and I didn't want to get too close. I didn't know what it ate and if it ate humans or not. Uh, so I just wanted to stay away as it was swimming. Uh, you could see its mouth open and definitely looked pretty intimidating. I found out later that they eat uh, or that they breathe through their mouth, so uh, that's why its mouth was open and it, it definitely looked intimidating. I uh, found out later it wasn't, but I you know, didn't want to risk it at the time and swim close to try to get the footage. Um, but this eel was magnificent. It was probably like 8 to 10 feet long. Um, its body was so big um, and it had like ribbons on the top and bottom of it and as it was swimming, just weaving through the coral. Uh, just looked amazing. It, it just flowed through the water and it's I mean uh, a water snake uh, but You know something that I've never seen before uh, Something so memorable and just to me was just one of the coolest things I've ever seen uh, Definitely an amazing experience to see that so happy I got my dive license and I've been doing that So the second thing I want to talk about was the shipwreck that we swam through today Definitely one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. Anyway, the ship's name is Kitty Wake and our dive instructor had said that we were going to Kitty Wake, and I thought he was saying some uh, kitty pool. We were going to basically like a, a, a kid's shallow dive that was going to be semi-lame. But you know, he's a dive instructor, he's been on the, on the island for a long time. I trusted him. But we also had guys on the boat who were uh, taking an advanced scuba diving course, so I'm like, oh, you know, we must be going to this like kitty pool basically for them you know they're taking their uh, course so they don't want to do something too challenging whatever they're kind of new divers but they're just going through the lessons anyway it turns out kitty wake was the name of the ship and it was actually a ship that was used uh to rescue like sunken sub to rescue sunken submarines um kind of salvage them and, and get them back and everything uh so it was this giant dive boat there was this decompression chamber in it uh that was super kind of eerie creepy um there's all the tanks that they would have used for air that they cut holes in for fish to make into their homes. Um, but just swimming through the ship was one of the coolest experiences. And I mean, you, you can walk on a ship and you know you're on a ship and you're walking, but to see the ship and to be basically like gliding through it, and it, it felt like I was flying because it's this man-made structure that you're kind of flying through. Definitely really cool experience, super eerie and creepy, and the whole ship was, was tilted on an angle. So swimming through it, like my body wants to stay flat because, you know, you've got you know, different buoyancy that's basically keeping you level. And as I'm gliding through the ship level, I see that like the whole ship's tilted and it really threw off my perception of, uh, you know, distance of things around me and the height of doors and uh, just creepy labyrinth of uh, hallways and uh, different rooms and things to swim through just ah, so hard to explain but definitely such a cool experience so they sank the ship like five years ago as this dive site and already there started to be like quite a bit of growth on this uh ship so i, I would love to come back in you know 10 15 years um after it's been down there for 20 years or so and just see the the growth after that long and uh the different fish and things that would move in there it was definitely one of my most memorable dives and such a cool experience anyway i just want to wrap this up thank you very much for being here if you made it to this point in the vlog i hope you enjoyed it definitely got some fun footage and it's going to be such a cool memory to look back at in a few years uh even a few months just to kind of remember the trip remember the dives that i did and some of the things that I've seen. I hope that you have the best day ever or the best night ever. Take care of business, get things done, smile, and go far. I'll see you guys in the next video.